Ernesto and Antonia de los Santos. I came here in the same 1991 and then six months after my father died. And hindi ako muwi. And then in 2010, I came back here to bring my father for a visit. But after a year, he died here. I was here, but I left. She was completely comatose. I left because I had to go back to the States. And I, a, a week after she died, I did not go home too. That's like what I did during when my dad died, when my mom died. And then two years after, my sister died. It was in 2013. I did not go home because I was inside the seminary already. And once you're inside, it is not easy for you to go, and even, even that. Yeah, you meant that I decided not to. Now, last Thursday in Miami, Friday, Yong Yong died. And I think it is my obligation as a Christian in the mind to say goodbye to him and to bury him. When I was in the seminary, we were told the most difficult thing that a priest could do is to bury their parents. So when I heard that, I said that I would never experience that because I, I don't have my parents. I completely forget about my siblings. And here I am on Thursday, I will bury my brother. It is not easy. But that is something that each and every one of us should be preparing in our lives. The more I prepare a wonderful homily regarding about how we should, how we should face death. Death of thinking with a great hope in our heart, the promise of eternal life by our Lord Jesus Christ. We are on the second day of that already. A season of that in which our hearts closer to God. A season or a time in our life, a time of the year when we have to take all the sacrifices, trials, and problems, thinking that God, that Jesus did more than that to each in His life. But God knows, just like I said when I celebrated the last a while ago, God knows the newness of our heart. God knows the sincerity in our heart. God knows the humility in our heart. God knows the sincerity of our intention. The gospel of reading that we just heard is telling us that God is everywhere. It's telling us the assurance of God's promise, the assurance of God to each and every one of us. Of course, I think mean, death in the family is not easy. And that's how it is, having the presence of Jesus always in our heart. God we continue to stand in Jordan, always put the presence of Jesus in our heart. John will ever, we will be forever in our heart, just like I have my dad, my mom, my sister. They will never leave you every time we think about our loved one, the death of our loved one. Yes. Because that moment, she is telling me or she is telling you that I am here. So that is an assurance of the promise of eternal life. Thank God. Now let us turn to Christ to the and faith and power of this cross and resurrection. And our response will be 